League, Bugbrook, St Michael 74. Oh, Christ. Christ. Oh, so boring. boring. <laughs> we were playing the police. We were playing the police. We were playing the police. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I was opening the bus and I took a sneaky single and that one of the, I think he was a lieutenant or something. And he a left, came a in. left hand, what, a left handed bowler? What, a left handed, uh, what, a left he was lieutenant, in the, a policeman? He was in the, he was high up in the police. He, he came and he threw it, it hit me in the back of the head. <laughs> I carried on batting. Um, Why would that make your nuts swell up? <laughs> <laughs> Why would your nuts later, swell up? Later, later, on, on, your head. later on, don't jab your finger at the world. You're not Churchill. I got What's hit by a bouncer. On? I got hit by a bouncer. I wish a bouncer would come here and smack you right in the gob now. <laughs> I, I, we had to go I should have too. retired her, but they came on and Paul <laughs> Cattell, he poured a cup who, of who, water. Who? Paul Cattell, he, he was my captain, he poured a cup of water over me. I he said, don't blame right. him. He, has my, so he poured a cup of water. That was that past as uh, medical treatment in them days. I had to stay in. I had to carry on batting, otherwise we would have lost. to the swollen testicle. How? Two days later, I'm very Two sleepy. Two days later? That's sleepy, not connected. Disorientated, and I thought, well, that's the concussion, isn't it? It's a delayed <laughs> Well, that's reaction. a concussion, isn't that's it? That's what I thought. I mean, it's natural, isn't it, Neil? You'd have thought that. Stop so trying to enlist that guest's help! Don't bring Neil into some water on him! Throw stuff at him! <laughs> <laughs> now, take that, Trev! That I could have been electrocuted with these headphones on. Anyway, <laughs> listen, Charles what happened was... Thing. Electricity would never pass through you. Charisma I never does. I started sleeping, and I thought, well, this is unnatural. I'm sleeping. Is it nerves? Is it concussion? And then, one morning, I felt this <laughs> tightness in my pants. Oh dear, that must have been oh a first. We were called puberty in the sticks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my voice dropped. Uh, yeah, I was ashamed. Breasts developed. No, what happened was... <laughs> Don't be ashamed <laughs> of those feelings, Trev. <laughs> Never so be ashamed. Oh, I've this... thrown fruit at him. He's all covered in fruit. Yeah, that's well, horrible. Yeah. Sorry, I do love you, Trev. Wipe your glasses. I can't bear to see you with fruit hanging off the specs. You know very well, I don't have any clean shirts left. <laughs> I'll, I'll buy your shirt, all right? I'll, I'll take you out with. I'll treat you up. Both of you, though, covered in stains. It was orange juice, so it's some Symbolic of the story. I think ah, it's okay. Ah, that we could it's squeeze that exactly. out of his it's giant nuts. Yeah. Come on, Trev. Get to the so bit. Thought, Get to the bit, Trev. Why am I covered in orange juice? And then I remembered. Look down. It's tight. And I looked down, and there it was. It was swollen up and all why painful. Did you, why did you say there it was? Well, it was there. You haven't established it's, that it's a testicle. It's a it testicle. It's, it's a, a testicle. testicle. One of my testicles is swollen. One of your testicles yes. is swollen. It's one of my dinosaurs is missing. It was the sequel to one of our <laughs> yeah. dinosaurs is missing. One of my testicles is swollen. You won't yeah. get Alec Guinness involved in that one. Right. <laughs> Peter Ustinov paid the testicle. Crikey. Um, anyway. So I rang up Sam Tapsell because he just passed his test. Well, why wouldn't you? And he drove me to the Sam doctors. Sam Tapsell, the most boring mention Dr. of your White, name yet. Doctor White told me to drop my trousers. Oh, Doctor White. She put, you know, and she had a feel, and she reckoned oh, it was Christ. a torsion. She said it was a torsion. torsion. She that's, panicked. That's really bad. Well, who wouldn't panic? Exactly. She panicked. I could see her panic. She could see the panic. What I are the panicked. signs of the panic, Trev? Well, she just went. She swallowed. She what looked did she all do? Funny. Kick she, her high heel through the ceiling. Left. She said, "Don't worry, I'm just going to go." Has she, this got a ceiling in it anyway? She called an ambulance. She called. She's a doctor. She called an ambulance. She called an ambulance. She, an ambulance. she says it's a torsion. She's a regression. The torsion's hospital. really bad because if it twists enough, the blood supply's cut off and you lose your testicles. Well, exactly. <laughs> Chubby Checker telling us to twist again like we did last supper. Trevor's got last a torsion. I don't know. I don't know why I'm thinking of Jesus. Jesus had. Let's twist again like we did last Indeed. supper. I would twist, yeah. but I'm, unfortunately I'm nailed to this cross. Yeah. I can't move oh. a muscle. Oh, come on, on a Sunday. We all respect <laughs> Jesus. At least, at least we've proven he has sexual contact with a female. Yeah, oh, nice. Well, this is the thing. Yeah, so, it was a doctor. Uh, listen, who? Who? she had to get paid. Jesus. Hey, we've been to the Chapel. They rushed me into this ward. They put me on in one of those little nighties that's too short and has no back. Did they put you in that trip or did you have that I in your asked, handbag? I asked <laughs> if I could wear it and they said, all right. Poisoning people there still. <laughs> so I get, I get <laughs> lies, and uh, and it turns out it's not a torsion. He is lying. He goes some... and uh, oh, he like looks that. up. Where not... look at his eyes? There, <laughs> he's lying. Yeah. And they were all on drips in the house. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, rhubarb. Totally. it's not a torsion. It's some sort of infection. They give me antibiotics. The swelling goes down. Unfortunately, some of my friends from my sixth form college came to visit me, including a girl that I quite liked. What was I, her name? Um, uh, Joe Roberts, I think. Joe Roberts. And, they was, and, 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 and Mary Cook. Did they anyway. sign your testicle? <laughs> 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 but I was bemused at how I got this infection, so I asked the doctor, I said, how come I've got this infection? Where's it come from? She goes, well, some sort of sexual activity. <laughs> and I said, so, to be a so I said to her, yeah, but how did I get the infection? Oh. And she said, well, you've probably got it from some sort of sexual activity. I said, no. <laughs> you never and had she go, And she goes, well, you know, maybe just a sort of... Uh, haven't you had any? And she, the shock on her face, is, it dawned on her that I had had, no well, sense. maybe kissing. Oh, poor no. Trevor. And it was, that was the most humiliating bit so about it. So someone had had sex with you in your sleep? No. <laughs> and what does it have to do with a softball on the back of you their head? pity the perpetrator do of these crimes. Do you know where I got it from? I, I reckon, look at me, mate. I, I didn't know I you I borrowed then. Paul Cattell's box 
when I went out to Cricket bat. Cricket box. Yeah, I reckon that's where it came from. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And so that's, that's where we feed back into the boring cricket In roots some ways, of that's almost story. the perfect anecdote. It loops back, you thought it was a red herring, you why did he stop off at the a cricket? testicular infection from a cricket box. No, Because you would have to go into your urethra all the way through <laughs> your body. It, it just Trevor, don't happen. count that cricket box as sort of a girlfriend. Don't try <laughs> and strike up a relationship with some protective nut gear. Right, okay, let's have some music to try and cleanse our palate of Trevor Locke's giant nut. I'm looking at you. I think we've put Mightly Crude to shame right there. We will. Oh, they got one of us now. I mean, they're having it off with ten generations, but Trevor has had it off with a cricket they box. They don't impress me, Mottley Crew. I find it lazy and derivative what they do. Oh. It's all been done before. You know what? They've the, done the, it before. Guess what? What? Read the book. It's not about the music. It's about the lifestyle. Yeah, Trev. It's about the lifestyle. It's been done. It's been done before, hasn't it? That lifestyle. Let's listen to some music. The Rolling Stones. Grams Choice. Grams Choice. Grams with us. Grams been looking after us since we were in Edinburgh. When I got to Edinburgh Airport, right, what happened was this fella picks me up. Not like that. I was there. I was lost at the airport. The taxi didn't turn up. Oh, supposed to yes, collect me. Oh yes, heard this And then Graham ghosted up to me, all mysterious. Graham is a man of mystery. He's sort of like a spy or something. Graham, I think, could kill a man. He is a sort of an Edinburgh lounge lizard. Are you all right there, Graham, on the other side? the studio. I'm okay. I'm Do you okay. want to come on mic or are you happy over there? I, it's up to you. Go, come over here, Graham. Talk into this yellow microphone here. Graham, I want to thank you for rescuing me at the airport when you did. What was it that made you decide not to leave me standing there lost at the airport, but in fact to step in and rescue me? What made you decide that? Um, I think it was your profile. My profile? Yeah, from behind. And it was My very profile hot. from behind. <laughs> <laughs> your part, yeah. It was um, very hot. Yes, and I, I just didn't think it would be a good idea for you to stand there. No, no, Not it wasn't. Not with that profile. The, yeah, oh, yeah, this bloke won't last two minutes up here. A profile. Yeah, my profile is likely to get me into all manner of dangers, but then Graham swept me off, and, and ever since we've been here, he's looked after us. He took us to the Rosalind he took Chapel. Me to the doctors. Took and Matt back. to the doctors and back from the doctors. Twice. No, it was twice. Twice. Yeah. Poor yeah, Matt. Twice. You're not a well man, are you? He's in with his giant nut. There's you falling apart with your headache. You I've got laryngitis. I've got laryngitis and tonsillitis as well. Blimey. Motley crew. I bet at least they're in rude elf, those boys, for heaven's sakes. If they are, they never admitted it. Right, you should write. A, you should write a book about us. I think and our antics. There's Trevor Lock there doing every cricket box. It's Matt. He ain't been well. It's amazing the way we live our lives. You right, Cox did he lock, did he? Well, I'm all sticky now, aren't I? Yeah. Well, okay, you keep that to yourself, dear. So we have got a message here. It says, Russell, I think you're funny, but could you please let people speak? No, I can't do that. <laughs> There's uh, someone here saying, is it Man Eater by Nelly Furtado? If it isn't, I haven't got a clue. That's an entry to your uh, Sonic Enigma, Trev. Is it Nelly Furtado? Don't Man waste Eater. my time with lazy entries into this competition. Trevor, <laughs> do not abuse our listeners. I will abuse them if they abuse me with that stupid. I'm what a what a thing to think, Nelly Furtado. Oh, Trevor, Look, that bully woman becomes the bully. Oh my God, this is an important I'm social. Bullied. It's not being bullied. I'm just you know. You become a bully from... boy. I'm not a bully boy. You're yeah. a real bully, bully boy. boy. Hey, you're like some kind of slick back jerk off, ain't ya? Why <laughs> you being a bully boy for, huh? Some kind of wise guy. Is it Manny? Oh, he's not. He's not Manny. No, he's being offensive. Trev should go out with Neil and pull some ladies, says Ross. Neil, is that possible? Could you Henry Higgins, this poor, poor Pygmalion? Come. I, I, could, I can make it work for him. You can make it work I for him. I don't believe you. Have you mastered head transplants? <laughs> <laughs> you lop his spate off his head with a sickle and replace it, I don't know, with a melon or perhaps his own testicle? Is Trev Sonic Enigma World Shut Your Mouth by Julian Cope? Says Matt McCann and Oakham Bonk. What Matt McCann names? and Oakham Bonk, shut your mouth. <gasps> Trevor! Not Why? really. Not really. Trevor. I want you to like me. I want to be loved. That's all. I love you. Oh, hey, you. Russ, Matt, and Trev, if I was in Edinburgh, I would have bought you all breakfast. The Sonic Enigma just looking for, is the Sonic Enigma just Can't looking read. for a kiss by the New York Dolls. That's from Amy. Is it the Dolls? Yes, it is. Well done. Trevor! You know perfectly well that the formula of this show is I only read out wrong answers till the winner is revealed later in the show. So how could that ever be the right answer? I'm a maverick. Sometimes I change oh, the rules. Maverick. Sometimes I break them. Sometimes but, but I don't, don't even see them. That wasn't a cool choice, though. You can't insult them for can't insult calling out the New York Times. You shouldn't cool. insult them Good at call. all. They shouldn't be insulted yeah. under any circumstances. That's why they've won. <laughs> Sonic Enigma is... Shut up, Trev. Sonic Enigma is I Can't Look at Your Skin by Graham Coxon. Is it... Is Lucy McCarthy in Coventry correct, Trev? Lucy, were you here, I would not be able to look at your skin. I can tell that from the patheticness of your Someone answer. Someone says that <laughs> every week. With him? So, well, it's her. an answer to Well, yeah. eventually they'll be right. Her. In an infinite universe, they'll eventually be right an infinite number of times. Yeah. Will they? Is, she, is that how know. infinity works? I don't know. Where does she live? Coventry. Coventry. Who's is Coventry count in the infinite universe? Of course it does. Double. Coventry. 
after what they went through, then poor sods. An infinite Coventry. Is Trevor's Sonic Enigma Kiss Kiss by Holly Valance, says Esther. 17 years near Bath. Ah, oh, bless kiss, her. Kiss Kiss, sure Esther. Kiss Kiss. She's 17, Trevor! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> For God's sake. Tut tut, Trevor. Fancy not addressing in my repression cues. Here's a thought. Maybe Trevor's is all he needs. Luxury is solitude. That's a lovely poem. <laughs> <laughs> well done. This is like Ed that's from Edward Lear. <laughs> it's a surreally strength there. Hello. Did you know there's a thread on the message board with a link to an image of Trevor's head hanging out a hole in a ceiling? It's more Spider-Man than Superman. Oh, yeah, someone left that on my MySpace. I've seen that on Mac's face. Yeah, it's funny that image. Yeah, have funny. a look at that, yeah. Also, Luke's cartoon's good. Here's a message here. Someone says simply, cut off Trevor's buttons with scissors. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Russell. Sadly, Trev was sort of testicles. right last week when he said a horse has three sexes and the third is a gelding. That's from Katie. It's not a Katie. sex. It doesn't occur in nature. They're amended by man, ain't they? Don't we chop their nuts off or something? Katie knows, Russell. That's all I'm saying. If we're going to question the word of Katie, I we think, might as well throw the rule book out the I window. I think we should call Trevor a gelding. Trevor, you're a gelding. <laughs> you don't have proper sex. You've got a great big nut like a space opera. <laughs> Hi, lads. Are we coming to stay on Hallam Street next weekend? Oh, I'm coming to stay on Hallam Street. Is all right to drop in the say hello and cover Trev's cheeks in kisses and a monster. Trev, I don't know what it means, but this person is offering to kiss you, Trev. Can you afford to look a gift gelding in the mouth? I don't know. I don't know. I'm no. a, we'll see. Maybe if you just draw those little crosses on me, that's fine. That'll count. Don't uh, contact him on MySpace. Got a letter here from Mel. Hi, guys. Saw both Trevor and Russell shows in Edinburgh. Have to say Trevor's was really good. Much better than I thought it would be. Despite the creepy family of children in the front row who were going crazy to get in and push themselves to the front of the queue. Definitely not appropriate show for nine-year-olds. Thought you came across really well, Trev, and likeable. Not like how you are on the radio when you're like a moany victim <laughs> in the <laughs> nicest possible... So yeah. people don't like victims, Trev. Well, I wonder why that but is. People say that this is, a, this is an act. See, they understand. Why are you deconstructing our radio show? It's a brilliant dynamic we've constructed. You were very good last night, Russ. Hope you enjoyed the tonic bar and managed to ensnare someone lovely in Edinburgh. Next time, choose a bigger bar, except hopefully not those lunatics who are at the front. Well, not the people at Trevor's gig who were children. They <laughs> weren't invited. Jesus Christ. Matt, where were you? Matt was there was for a there. little while till he snuck off with a groupie, the terrible little character. <laughs> the way that man lives his I life. I read my book. Enjoy Edinburgh <laughs> and how's your, your book. That's the most disgusting euphemism I've ever heard. It's the book of the damned that he's... It's been mad up here for fans, hasn't it? Walking around views very difficult these days. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I likes it. Nice to meet people and meet strangers and kid, right? people. Are you Russell Grant? <laughs> <laughs> Russell Grant is a fat astrologer in this country. A fat gay astrologer. He's actually a lovely fella. I met him once and once there was a mix-up and I got sent one of his costumes. I actually <laughs> made the mistake of smelling the crotch. I, I've never been the same since. But right, yeah, I often, that often happens. Oh, are you Russell Grant? Are you Russell Grant? I grin admirably and say, oh, oh, oh no, <laughs> get away from me. <laughs> oh, no, I, don't, I don't mind it. Oh, it's nice that people talk to me at all. Sorry it's exciting to be spoken to by people. Okay, we've got Matt's Cultural Review coming up. We'll try and ring Noel Gallagher. Where's the telephone? Matt's Cultural Reviews includes things like funny smell. <laughs> it's going to be intriguing <laughs> to listen to. Neil's still with us. We've got the Sonic Enigma winners. Little chat with Noel, then we'll wrap up this show. What a time we're all having. What are we going to listen to now? A CD. <laughs> a CD! That's right, a compact disc. From what else that word said? Pizzicato. Pizzicato. Pizzicato vibes. So I seem to listen to them. Let's listen with our little brain boxes. <laughs> What I'm interested in, cockety lockety, is yeah. why you're using Neil Strauss as a resort resource to write messages to your MySpace conquest. Yeah, you, just frantically went it, Matt. He was <laughs> going to, uh, you, this woman's just messaged me. What, what do I say? You yeah. write a message, oh wise one. You write us a message. <laughs> I'm sitting here writing it. So if it, I thought it'd be an interesting experience. Who is the person that might be listening? The woman's so just added me. She's online now. We've What's got, her name? We, uh, her name happens to be. Go on, say it. Yeah, Elvis. Elvis, so the woman. So if you get an email from well, she's Elvis, Trevor. Elvis, the woman. Yeah. If so you're leaving by Neil Strauss in America. It could be an experiment we could do before the end of the show. He'll write her a thing and we'll see what let's happens. Let's see what happens. So let's okay, go. What, 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 what would you write? write? He's put trouble in the subject. Thing. Trouble? That's quite good. Oh, yeah. What are you going to put in the message body? Um, oh, in the message body. I think we're going to put, let's see the right half of your face. That's and, very uh, good, yes. What? Why, has that been mentioned? What's, what's the initial saying? message? She's Let's got see the right half of your face, what are you is... trying to hide? Yeah. That says like Hannibal Lecter's. Because yeah. what's yeah. happened is she's, she's taken a photo of the left side of her face. Right, so she's right right taken right. a photo of the left side of her face. Yeah. What? She might have a birthmark on the right side of her face. That's good. We could even put that. Is there a birthmark you're trying to hide? 
Oh, what about yeah. people that have got birthmarks? I like him. I like a nice birthmark. So Good to have a mark of your birth. Right. Then add that. Perfect. You should write this profile. That's I awesome. probably should. I but, probably but here's the, here's, should. The, here's the personal secret, which is instead of saying something randy and saucy, mm. like most Lovely. guys.